All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. This fighter has read the Marquess of Queensbury rules cover to cover. Truly one of the best boxers we have in the UFC today, and he works everything off of that jab. Oh, yeah, the jab is what got him to the show. He is just a phenomenal boxer, and John, I love you throwing out the Queensbury <laughs> rules in the walkout for this man because he signifies everything that is boxing. He's a guy that loves the sport. He wanted to take boxing on his back and bring it to mixed martial arts and show that it, it is as an effective form of combat as anything else. He said, I'll walk away from an Olympic opportunity to take my sport into the octagon and show that we are the best fighters in the world. And he's done that to this point in the UFC. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem at the bar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. But I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. If he's supposed fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting! This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Ooh, big shot lands. He is all about that left kick to the body. What a body kick. How good is that right here? Oh, spinning back fist. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 
So both guys landing at will here. Good action early. Big body kick. his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing was... Oh! Huge right hand! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. He's giving him so many different things right now. Boom! Big jab. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. That's a big strike right there. That was lightning fast, that right end. He lands a big knee to the body. Punch coming, it's blocked. Big head kick land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Sneaky head kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Lee gets in the clinch again. This has historically been a good position for him. Let's see how he attacks here. Oh, nice right hand. Ball collar tie. That Ooh, knee. Big that knee. knee hurt him. That one landed clean. Misses again with a right punch. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Well, he has really put his opponent on the defensive here early. Very aggressive right out of the shoot. He has landed a high number of total strikes. Exactly the aggression you'd like to see, given what is at stake here tonight. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the ring to land those punches. He's got to be careful, dipping his head and throwing that jab. Real nice body kick there. He landed a good uppercut there. Oh, beautiful job by him there. Maybe the opponent was expecting the straight punch, and he goes to the hook. Mike Tyson used to have some of the best hooks in boxing. And this young man tonight is throwing him with that type of intensity. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. 20 seconds left. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Watch the shot to the body. Oh, he tagged him with the punch there, DC. That's an educated left hand. He's got great timing with his left hand. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with a head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going to be. saying I wish I was a little bit taller. 
Nice kick. Oh, spinning backfist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Circling to his right. Over and over, he landed a big body kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Blocks the shot. The uppercut flails and misses. Check defense. Check defense now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, combination of knees. That is not what he is looking for. He better raise that guard quickly. You better raise that guard or he's gonna fall asleep. You cannot allow someone to knee you in the head. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Close guard. Back to the feet now. Try to establish that jab. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Right hook to the head blocked. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Leg kick. second round, no denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Big punch land. Ooh. He blocks the punch. The body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues. Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! It's very tricky when he throws that body. What a punch. Huge shots there. because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Blocks the strike. Beautiful body he lands right under the elbow. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Five single collar tie now. And they separate. Ten seconds to go. He's going after the head. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and in survival mode, luckily he made it to the end of that round.
Ready. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, high-level stuff there as he blocks the strike and counters with a jab. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice great punch. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. There must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Beautiful kick. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. As effective straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eight. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Big kick. Serve him up. Go get him. That one appeared to stun him. Look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Back to the feet. Just misses with the jab there. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Real sneaky body kick. Come on, buddy. Oh, effective strike there by Lee. saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at two minutes, 48 seconds of the third round. Going the winner by Knockout Assassin. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. After the huge knockout turned in tonight, near-perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career.